Hello everyone, my name is Matt and this is Real World Review. Today I will be reviewing the iFixit Pro Tech Toolkit. As of today, there are two generations of Pro Tech Toolkits and this is going to be the second generation. Something that I would like to note is that iFixit sent me this toolkit at no cost and I am voluntarily reviewing it. I am not affiliated with any companies that supply this kit, but I will still post a link to this kit and more in the description. Also, even though this was given to me, my opinion on this kit has not changed. Trust me on that one. Lastly, I have more product reviews planned for the future, but feel free to tell me to review something that you're interested in. You can reach me on here or on Twitter at Matt of RWR. Let's get started. Let's start with the usability. For one, the toolkit and the holder can be separated. This is perfect for mobile repair because it will literally have everything that you need to repair most phones, tablets, and computers, and then the occasional dishwashing machine or calculator. I would say 99% of people buying this will not use every single piece of this kit, and that is perfect. I love having the extra tools because you never really know when you're going to use them. I mean it's crazy how many bits there are in here. I've been fixing devices for the last 10 plus years and have literally used 18 of these 64 bits. That breaks down to me using 28% of these bits in the last 10 years. Crazy. For this I will give the usability category an 8.5 out of 10. Of the 84 pieces in this kit, only 12 of them are made of plastic. Even though the picks are plastic, they are fairly durable. Sure, they do break, but only after using them many, many, many times. The reverse tweezers are perfect for holding logic boards, and the plastic tips are perfect because you don't have to worry about accidentally conducting electricity with these. The angled tweezers are perfect if you're trying to get into tight spaces, but as you can probably assume, you need to be very careful with the tips. With this said, the blunt tweezers will work like the angled tweezers, but unfortunately they are not needle-nosed. Moving on to more plastic. The spudger and the halberd spudger are surprisingly durable, just as long as you don't pry too hard with these. That's what the picks are for. Cheap opening tools break almost instantly, so I wouldn't be too surprised if these broke during use. I'm not saying that these are cheap opening tools, but it's just like a tempered glass. They're made to break. I mean, there's even a note on the tools that tell you that they're supposed to break before your device does. So, yeah. As for the metal bits, they are pretty durable, but if you don't know what you're doing, you can strip these bits just like all other toolkits. Or if you're like me, you could accidentally leave the wrong bit on your driver and boom, turn your Y000 bit into a SIM card ejector. Overall, the durability of this kit gets a 9 out of 10. At $60, it may seem like a lot, and in a way, it kind of is. In my opinion, the Universal Bit Kit is a better option, but it's missing the extra tools, and it costs $100. Oddly, it doesn't have the iPhone standoff bit, but more on that in another video. You can actually buy the 64-bit kit for $30, or you can buy the whole ProTech toolkit for an extra $30. With the Jimmy being $8, the three spudgers totaling $9, and six picks at $5, $60 doesn't actually sound that bad. When I was looking at ordering more items from iFixit, my total ended up being roughly $75, so $60 is pretty good. The cool thing is that this toolkit had all of those items that I wanted, and more. Overall, the pricing is almost perfect in my opinion, so this gets an 8 out of 10. So this is a category that I had an issue with. I have used three different iFixit drivers, well technically four, and unfortunately this is the least comfortable. It is hard to explain, but the driver just isn't as fluid as I'm used to. With this said, it's not a bad driver to start with, but if you have the money, I would say go for the universal bit driver. As for the tools, they fit fine in the hand and aren't awkward to hold, so this will boost the category up just a little bit. Having the extender seems nice, but I've never been in a situation where it was needed. It is a little odd, but at least this comes with the kit. While the Jimmy is nice, I've cut myself with it twice, and I wasn't even using them both of those times. It's pretty good for prying open metal and plastic devices, and it is nice that it has a handle that is pretty comfortable. It should be worth noting that this handle is made out of aluminum, and the plastic model might be a little bit better if you don't like the aluminum one. Personally, I like the driver in the Universal Kit, but unfortunately, you can't buy that separately. You can, however, buy the quarter-inch universal driver. It's perfect for big repairs, not so much for small ones. Anyways, back to the ProTech Toolkit driver. Overall, I would say comfort-wise, this kit receives a 5 out of 10. When compared to the classic ProTech Toolkit, I feel that this design is a little bit nicer. With that said, I can't figure out how to get this thing to close perfectly with the 64-bit kit in the holder. Velcro may seem cheap, but it is definitely better than having magnets or a strap go around the cover. Once open, the tools are covered and the suction cup and picks are held by elastic straps. These are perfect for removing and putting back these pieces. As for the 64-bit kit, it is made out of plastic and has a metal plate on the bottom. This plate is perfect for mounting onto a magnet if that's what you're into. 
There are four magnets on the top panel and there are also four magnets on the bottom panel so you can hold the top panel when you're not using it. The four millimeter driver and bits are embedded into this foam material that feels really nice and keeps everything in place, regardless of how you flip it. Well, except for the driver. Some may say that these aren't the best materials to use, but these are tools. It's not supposed to look pretty, but iFixit figured out how to make it look nice. I feel that this is a nice little upgrade over the classic Pro Tech Toolkit, so this will get a 7.5 out of 10. So what do you think? Should you buy this kit? The score comes out to 76%, which isn't too bad. There are nicer kits out there, but this is also one of the only kits out there that has an iPhone standoff bit, which is kind of weird. Of the four kits that I have from iFixit, this is the only one that comes with that bit. If you're looking for this kit, $30 isn't that bad for what you get. If you're looking for a kit and some useful tools, $60 is a good price because you're really getting $81 worth of tools. Yes, I counted it all up, so you don't have to. And if you don't care about the extra tools, go for the big boy, the Universal Bit Kit. Like I said earlier, that is for another video. And that's it. Thank you iFixit for sending me this kit. I hope you enjoyed this video and go check out all the other stuff that iFixit has. They have tools and parts as well as repair guides and a form filled with questions and answers. I should be doing more videos about iFixit later on, so look out for those. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or on Twitter at Matt of RWR. Also, feel free to follow me on the social media listed above. Lastly, subscribe to my channel if you like. The subs are what really keeps this channel alive. Thanks for watching.